Hi guys, welcome back to A Bookish Weekend. My name is Brooke and today we're going to be doing my June book haul. I just wanted to announce this at the beginning of the video before I get into the book haul that I have joined with Lightwood Reader, Seasonal Reviews and A Bookish Obsession to host a readathon this October. It is called YAathon. I will link all of the details down below if you want to check it out. I highly recommend that you do because it's going to be so much fun. It'll be partly Halloween based, partly just YA and other books based. So they're going to be reading challenges and all sorts of other challenges so make sure you go check it out. I'm very excited for it. It's going to be on October 8th to October 14th. You have lots of time to prepare for it and just get everything sorted. So yeah, I'll link all of that down below so you can check it out. So I have a lot of books to get through this month. I have 22 to be exact, as you can see this big stack behind me here. In my defence, most of them are second hand and super cheap, so that's why I have so many. But because I have so many books, let's just get into it and I'll tell you what books I brought. So first of all, I'm just going to go through the books that I got in my subscription boxes this month. And the first box I got was Fairy Loot. And in Fairy Loot I got Grace and Fury by Tracy Banghart. This is about two sisters, Nomi and Serena. You've probably already heard about this on my channel because I loved it so much. It's about Nomi and Serena, as I said, and they're in a world where, where women have no rights. And there are these things called graces who are chosen by the heir or the king to represent the perfect woman and they have to do what the heir says. Serena's been training her whole life to be a grace and Nomi has been very rebellious against it. And so when like, Grace Charles come into place, a lot of drama ensues for these two sisters. This was such a good feminist fantasy book that I highly recommend because I loved it so, so much. Next subscription box I got this month was The Book Box Club. In that book I got All of This Is True by Ligia de Penaflor. I don't know how you pronounce her name, I'm sorry. This is about Mary, Celia and Penny as they befriend their favourite author. When the author releases another book about their lives and their secrets, lots of drama ensues. This is a really fun book that's told in like multimedia, it's told through interviews, story excerpts and blog posts. In a book box club they also included an extra book and that was an arc of the Boneless Mercies by April Genevieve Tuchalk. I've also read this book, I really enjoyed it. This was such a like a dark traditional fantasy book about this group of girls called the Boneless Mercies who do mercy deaths. So basically keep kill people if they're ill, you go on a quest to kill this beast because they don't want to be bonus mercies anymore. And this was just so fantastical and traditional. It was very dark and sorrowful. It comes out on October 4th, by the way. So make sure you go pick that one up as well when it comes out. The next two books I bought at Waterstones when I went in one time, just to pop in to see what they had. First one of that is You Know Me Well by Nina Lacour and David Leviathan. I have also read this book. I didn't enjoy this one as much as I was hoping to. This is about Mark and Kate who sit next to each other in calculus but they've never really got to know each other until Pride Month. They bump into each other and perform an unlikely friendship and grow quite close throughout the week. Next book I got in Waterstones was Freshers by Tromwelly and Lucy Everson. These are the same authors of who wrote, I think it's Lobsters? Um, I haven't read that book but I have heard a lot of British booktubers talk about it. I've also read this one and the reason I picked this one up is because I am hoping to start university in September and I thought this one might, you know, give me some reassurance and get rid of some of the anxieties I had. This book follows Phoebe and Luke in their first semester of university and all the drama that she was during Freshers Week and everything after that and the friendship they formed and the antics that ensue. The next two books I got today actually from a charity shop, so they were both really cheap. I think they were like one pound fifty each. The first one is Thirteen Minutes by who's this by? By Sarah Pinborough. I'm not really sure what this is about. It's like a mystery. It says it's like Mean Girls for the Instagram age, so that'll be interesting. But what I'm getting from it is that this girl, this group of friends, tries to kill her, and it's about that mystery sort of thing. I'm really into sort of mysteries and thrillers at the moment, like YA mystery and thrillers, but there aren't enough of them about. Um, I am looking to buy more of E. Blockhart's books and I want Truly Devious so I'm kind of just looking for other books similar to that. I just picked this one up since I saw it in the charity shop and I've seen it in Waterstones a bunch of times so yeah I'm hoping to give this one a go soon. The next book I got from the charity shop was Cinder by Marissa Maya. I have been meaning to get the Luna Chronicles for ages, I just haven't been able to afford it and there's been other books on my, team, on my wish list that I have wanted more. Um, but when I saw this in the charity shop, I had to pick it up since it was so cheap and I've been wanting it for ages. So hopefully this will kickstart me into reading The Lunar Chronicles. I'm very excited to finally start the series because I know loads of people love it. I'm not really sure what this is about. I know it's just like sort of fairy tales reimagined but in space. Um, I'm sure you've heard of it by now since it's everywhere on Booktube and in the bookish community. The rest of these books I ordered super cheap from some people on Facebook who were selling some books that I really wanted. 
So the first three are Harry Potter books actually. Hardback original UK edition of The Order of the Phoenix, The Half-Blood Prince and The Deathly Hallows. The reason I got these books, I've already read the Harry Potter series, I already have them in paperback, but I wanted the original UK editions in hardback, and so when I saw this person selling them, I had to get them since they were so cheap. You see cheap books like you've been meaning to get for ages, you kind of just have to pick them up because you don't know when you're going to see them again if they're cheap. So I got these, so hopefully I'll be able to find the rest of the book in this cover and this hardback soon. Another book that I got on Facebook from someone that was just selling it super cheap, and that is The Waking Land by Callie Bates. I don't know what this one's about, but I just have seen it everywhere and thought it looked really good, so I picked this one up as well. And finally, the rest of these books I got are all by Jacqueline Wilson. Jacqueline Wilson is a very famous UK children's author. I don't know why I decided suddenly that I wanted to get all of Jacqueline Wilson's books and read them all. Um, I think it was because of B and Maddie over on their YouTube channel, because they were doing a like Jacqueline Wilson readathon and it just kind of triggered me to want to read all of her books so I have a huge stack here I'm only buying her books if they're super cheap or second hand um, which is where I got all of these ones from and so yeah I have got quite a few to go through so I'm just going to go through them really quickly I'm not going to explain what they're about because I don't know what any of them are about um, but yeah I'll just go through them now we have Hetty Feather, Lola Rose, Jackie Daydream, Secrets Opal Plumstead, which I didn't realise is based on the suffragettes, and so when I got this book I was super happy to realise that, because I love books following suffragettes and I cannot wait to read this one very soon. Diamond, The Story of Tracy Beaker, The Illustrated Mum, The Suitcase Kid, The Longest Rail Song, The Worry Website, which is a tongue twister and a half, and finally Vicky Angel. So it's actually like half an hour later since filming that video, the doorbell just rang and I got four more books through the post. These are four more second-hand Jacqueline Wilson books, so I'm just going to go through their totals quickly so you know what I got. So there is Slob Slime, Bad Girls, Lottie Project, and Girls in Tears, the actual video. So that is my massive book haul for this month. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!